I'm excited to share with you a great product that I've been using for a long time, but it is amazing. There are some people who don't know about it, so I just wanted to share it with you. It's a product that used to be called a marbleizing spray, and it's made by Krylon. They make the best artist quality materials available, but they, they decided to change it to a marbleizing spray. And it's, it's unbelievable. It's something that it gives you this really random, spontaneous line. It's so predictable, unpredictable, but it is always unique. So I'm just going to show you a little bit what it looks like. I usually do this standing up, and you have to really shake them well. And so now with a, just a little shot, look at that. Isn't that fun? Just a little short shot like that. You can make these incredible random wavy lines. Now here's another can. And when I mean shake well, really well. These I shook them before we started. Now here's another one. And see, look at this one has a very fine line. So you can't just buy one can and think you've got it made. Some have a much finer line. Some, as they get a little bit older, they tend to thicken up a bit. Hmm. <laughs> and now here we have a black one. Now this one takes a little bit more guts to spray. Ooh, it's really scary when you do this because you don't really have a lot of control. And just do it. I usually tell people, always practice first. So whenever I'm doing this, I always just do a little bit of practice just to see how it's going. Oh yeah, it's working good. So now, this is a painting that I actually started with the lines. It was a way of designing it. But see, it still needs a few more. So I'm just going to give her another shot here. Hopefully I'm going to hit down in this corner, but there's no guarantee. You just, yeah, like I say, oh, that's pretty good. There's another shot up there. Oh, love this. Maybe one coming down. And I wouldn't mind just a little bit lingering in there. Perfect. So you can see this is way too much fun. I still need to do a little more development in here. But you might want to try the webbing spray to start a painting. Usually, it's, it's something you do at the very end. Now again, always practice first. So this is going to be the gold spray. And it's already a pretty busy painting. But I think it makes such a beautiful little final end to it. Just a little bit of this wonderful spray over it. And you gotta like whatever you get. I always tell people it's like your kids. Whatever you get, you gotta like. <laughs> now here's a fun canvas that I did. I think this would look great with just a little bit of random gold spray. I'm not gonna be brave enough to do black, but I think it'll look great with just a little gold spray. And another little trick I do, when I have an area I really like, I'll just take a tissue and cover it. Or if you have an area you don't want me spray on, you just simply cover it. And see, now we're free to just to hit those other areas. And look at all of this would have been on there. Unnecessary. Perfect. Oh, I'm very happy with that. And then I have um, another canvas here that I started. I really like this one. This is a new lesson I'm going to be teaching now, the summer of 2016. And it needs, see, I don't like that open white space there. I like it as a rest area, but I think just a little bit of linear, uh, a little linear touch in there would be good. And because now I'm going to be using the black, I'm going to just do a little, okay, let's hope we can make it work here now. a little, see now I'm going to cover that up because I don't want any more there, but I wouldn't mind a little shot going across here. Oh, great, great. Oh, I love it. Couldn't be 
nicer. And here you'll see a variety. And now you probably think, my gosh, does that woman put that on every painting she paints? Actually, no. <laughs> there are certain paintings that I do this on. And here's another one that I like to do it on. When I have these lovely open spaces, I think it's just great to have a little bit of this. And see, I noticed there wasn't any up here. So I'm thinking this would be maybe one more shot right up there. Oh, and I got the wrong one. I should have had the one with the lighter spray. Oh, well, like I say, whatever you do, you gotta like whatever you get. There. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> now here's some that are already done. Again, you can see how really nice it is when you have just the abstract and a few little lines. It's wonderful. Now here's one similar to the one with the white background. This one I chose to paint black. And I really like the addition of that fine gold webbing spray on the back. Very nice. Someday I'm going to finish that. Here's another fun one. This was a lesson I taught this summer. And it, um, you can see I sprayed gold into gauze to create some lovely patterns in here. And then for the final thing, when the whole painting was done, I sprayed the gold webbing spray over it. And to me, it just it's that final touch. It really does give it a, a beautiful little ambiance. And so this is probably about the scariest one. This one here is one of my very favorite paintings. And at the very end, I got really brave and sprayed in just a little bit of webbing spray. Not to take over the painting like it can, just a little bit of subtlety. So you have to check your cans. Some spray very light, some spray much heavier. So I like to have an assortment of them around. And you always test them first. But once you get the hang of it, go for it. So I hope you find this helpful. This is a fabulous Unru paper, U-N-R-Y-U. It's made in Thailand, and it's white. It's, I love this paper. It's only 10 grams, very lightweight. So when you use this paper as a collage, all you see are the fibers, and the paper becomes transparent. So for people who are control freaks, what you can do is you can spray with the webbing spray on this paper and just get some really interesting patterns of, in fact, there'll be a good chance to do a little practice. <laughs> now that's the heavier one. This is the one that's just a little bit lighter. And here is the black. And see, the black is really scary. But this is what happens. This is kind of interesting that would happen in the DVD here. If you don't shake it well enough, you get little spots. So we'll see if it will come back. Well, we're still getting the little spots. Not starting. There we go. There we go. So don't give up on it. And see, for people who really want to have a lot of control, this is what you can do. <laughs> you can spray it on this really lightweight paper, and then you would just tear out little areas you like and glue them down exactly where you want them. See, I could just take a little piece like this, and I could glue this down exactly. I can just take a little piece like this and glue it down exactly where I want it. And the paper would disappear. All you, are, all you would see would be that lovely little random, unpredictable line that I love. So I hope these are all helpful hints. OK, now this magical webbing spray has dried on this 10 gram on roux. We actually sell it in these very large sheets for $2 a sheet. And what I can do now is I can pick out whatever one I like, which, which is really a blessing because 
sometimes you just can't control this. So if I want to just maybe pick out, pick out a spot here and just this is such a lightweight paper that when I glue it onto this painting, you will not even see it. It just disappears. So here we go. I've got a nice little spray. I would be real happy if it would spray right about there. But of course, you know what my chances are. <laughs> so this is what I do. I take the glue. I always wipe off a little bit. Most people use too much glue. You just need a little bit of glue. And you just simply press it down with a nice flat brush. And look at that. <laughs> I got the webbing spray exactly where I want it. And let's see, I think I need one more little spot up here. There we go. Just, just about perfect, right in there. So again, wipe off the extra glue, just press it, get enough glue to penetrate through, and you're bonding it right onto the paper. us a nice little finish. I could have used the gold webbing spray, but I chose to use the black just to get the extra oomph. And what I'll do is one last little piece <laughs> right down here. Amazing how you can get that to go where you want, isn't it? There you go.